Georgia Fox has reportedly broken it off with Kanye West. But why would she do this? Why would Julia Fox break up with a self-proclaimed multi-billionaire such as Kanye West? Well, could it be that Kanye West was still pursuing Kim in a very public way? And maybe Julia was getting tired of this. You know, she was supposed to be his girlfriend. But yet, he's still out there pursuing Kim. And also, maybe she decided to get out while she was ahead. Because you know how Kanye West gets down. She didn't want him to wind up making a song about her. You remember how he made a song about, seems like it was about Taylor Swift. I may that be famous. So maybe she decided to get out while she was ahead. And she broke up with him, it seems like, right before Valentine's Day. And on Valentine's Day, Kanye West posted what appeared to be a truck full of flowers for Kim. So on the truck, it says, my vision is crystal clear. So he spelled crystal with the K and he spelled clear with a K. And we know that the Kardashians are known for having names that starts with the letter K. So it is apparent that these flowers are for Kim. So he posted this on his Instagram page on Valentine's Day of all days. So why would he post these flowers to Kim instead of to his supposed girlfriend, Julia Fox? So maybe this is one of the reasons that Julia Fox broke it off with Kanye West. She was probably not getting enough attention. So... Now, Kanye West posted this on his page on Valentine's Day. But it's not there anymore because I went to his page to check this out and it is not there anymore. Because just a day before I had went to his page and he had quite a few posts. But he has deleted all of those posts except for two. And he has one post of his children from seven days ago. His children interacting with Kim. And also he has a post that he recently posted of him promoting his album. So what is really going on here? Is Kanye West trying to get Kim back? Or is this some type of marketing ploy for Kanye West? To let everybody know that his album is dropping on February 22 of 2022. Okay. And he picked the day with all those twos in there so that you wouldn't forget. So his album is dropping on a Tuesday on February the 22nd. And he has it posted on his page. So is he trolling us? Or is this just a good marketing ploy for him to first post flowers to Kim and then post about his album coming out so let me know what you think make sure you leave a comment below so i hope that they can work it out for the sake of the kids because i believe that it was recently posted as well that kim might be afraid for her new boyfriend you know she is now dating pete davidson from the show saturday night live and Kanye West posted, you know, that he doesn't want anybody to hurt Pete Davidson. So he doesn't want his fans to retaliate. And he said that he will take care of this himself. So exactly what that means remains to be seen. But yeah, Kim has moved on. But it looks like Kanye West, either he is still pursuing her or this is just a marketing ploy for Kanye West. And like I said, Kim has moved on to Pete Davidson. You know, Kim is 41 years old and Pete Davidson is 28 years old. So it looks like Kim is getting her groove back. But Kanye is not to be outdone because he was dating the 32-year-old Julia Fox. So it looks like Kanye was also getting his groove back as well. And let's not forget 
that Kanye West, I believe, was the first one that went public with his relationship outside of the marriage. But it has been a while since Kim has filed for a divorce. I think it's almost been a year ago now that Kim has filed for a divorce. And both of these two have been on the scene dating other people as of late. But it seems like either Kanye West simply cannot let go or either he is trolling us or it is a marketing ploy. You be the judge. Now, another person that is releasing an album is Kodak Black. Kodak Black has posted on his page the day before he was in that incident there in Los Angeles that he was also going to drop his album on February the 22nd of 2022. But now it looks like his album is pushed back and his album is going to be released on a Friday on February 25th of 2022. This according to his Instagram page. So it looks like Kodak Black is back active on his Instagram page after that altercation that he got in in Los Angeles where he was shot in the leg. So it looks like he is back on the scene and he is also going to be releasing an album. So let's move on now to Nicki Minaj because I wonder when she will be releasing her album. She has released her single, We Got a Problem. And it debuted at number two on the Billboard Hot 100. And it seems like a lot of Nicki Minaj's fans are disappointed that it didn't debut at number one. So... Nicki Minaj did not get that number one spot, but she did get that number two spot, which is quite an accomplishment within itself. But like I said, it seems like some of her fans are not too happy about this because I believe it was a Disney song that something about Bruno that took the number one spot. And I think one of her fans posted, let's not talk about Bruno. So, and then another one posted, Nikki deserved, as you can see. So, a lot of Nicki Minaj's fans were posting on this Billboard page. And they were not happy about Nikki not going number one, but they can still push it to number one. They still have time to push Nikki to number one. But they said that they have change how they count the streamings to get that number one spot now they're saying that they don't count youtube streams and nikki has over 17 million views on that video on youtube but i think that this single on youtube is posted more like a movie i think that she would probably get more streams if she posted it, you know, like a single, because most singles are what, like three to four minutes. And this video is about nine to ten minutes long. So, yeah, let me know what you think about this uh, Nicki Minaj's song debuting at number two. And I don't know when her next single will be released, but it seems like it's going to be busting. And I can't wait to see the video. So let me know what your thoughts are about this, about the Kim and Kanye West situation. Hopefully they can work it out for the sake of the kids. This is Liz. Keep it up with the biz. And I'm out.